I say, what would happen if the boat sank from its weight and you're in the boat and you have this tremendously powerful battery and the battery is now underwater and there's a shark that's approximately 10 yards over there. By the way, a lot of shark attacks lately. Do you notice that? A lot of shark. I watched some guys justifying it today. They said, so there's a shark 10 yards away from the boat, 10 yards or here. Do I get electrocuted? If the boat is sinking, water goes over the battery, the boat is sinking. Do I stay on top of the boat and get electrocuted? Or do I jump over by the shark and not get electrocuted? I'll take electrocution every single time. I'm not getting near the shark. So we're going to end that. We're going to end it for boats. But if I'm sitting down and that boat's going down and I'm on top of a battery and the water starts flooding in, I'm getting concerned. But then I look 10 yards to my left and there's a shark over there. So I have a choice of electrocution or shark. You know what I'm going to take? Electrocution. I will take electrocution every single time. They were saying the other night, the shark. They were saying, oh, sharks, we have to protect them. I said, wait a minute, wait. They actually want to remove all the seals in order to save the shark. I said, wait a minute, don't you have it the other way around? That's true. Well, I'm not a big fan of sharks either. I don't know how many votes am I going to lose. I have people calling me up, sir, we want to have a fund to save the shark. It's called Save the Shark. I say, no, thank you. I have other things I can contribute to. They're making windmills all over the place to ruin our land and kill our birds, to kill everything. Isn't that amazing, the environmentalists? We like windmills. Oh, really? What about the thousands of birds they're killing? <laughs> Try going to the bottom of a windmill someday. It's not a pretty picture. And of course, it's like a graveyard for birds. <laughs> if you love birds, you'd never want to walk under a windmill because it's a very sad, sad sight. <laughs> 